Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to how to download the Vroid Hub avatars and then import into your Unreal Engine 4 to make it become your game avatar, become your game characters. So first step, you check your video description. You need to have the Vroid Hub URL, you just go and click this. Open with your browser. Right now, this is the Vroid Hub. In Vroid Hub, there are a lot of free avatars that provide by other people. You need to log in by using your Gmail account first. And then you can search at here. Filter by condition used, you have to make sure tick the third party yes and tick everything here. You only want to search all, all the avatars that allow you to use it for commercial and allow redistribution, all of this. So click OK. Now, the search condition all are ready for use. Can, can use for profit, for commercial. Now I will just find an avatar that I wish to import into, into my Unreal Engine 4. Let's say as demo, I choose, I choose this avatar. Or I choose this. So now I right click and open in a new tab. Here you can have a preview first before you download it. If you feel okay then, you scroll down, you can see the condition of use. Yes, for profit use. Redistribution, yes. So you can use it. Use this model, you just need to click it. It show you the condition of use again for commercial, yes. Commercial by your company, yes. And redistribution, yes. You tick here and click download. Now it download as a VRM file. Once finished, this is Google Chrome. I click here and show in folder. All right, this is the VRM file. As demo, I will just right click, cut, and I will put on my desktop. Next step, check your video description and go and download this plugin for your Unreal Engine 4. So you have to copy and paste or direct click into this, this website and go and download VRM for you 4.26. This is a zip file. After you download it as a zip file, Alright, I already downloaded as a zip file on my desktop. I right click and click extract all and click extract. Now it is extracting and later it will create a new folder and put every content inside. Look now, it already extracted as a folder and it automatically pop out after you finish extracted. I can close it as well. This folder. Inside you have a, a plugin folder. As demo, I will launch my Unreal Engine 4.26 and I will create a new, a new game project and start from scratch, start from nothing, start a, a new game project and I will use the third person as, as demo, this one. The file name, the project name, I will put Vroid Cup to Unreal Engine 4 Zero 01 I create a new project The VRM file is here On my desktop 
that I downloaded from from the Vroid. All right, now the Unreal Engine 4.26 it already started a new project. Click the content. On my desktop, I open a new folder. It's a VRM. I put the VRM file into into here, or just leave it. I think it's unnecessary to create a new folder. Just delete the, the folder. Remember, this is the VRM file. Next, in your Unreal Engine content folder, you right click and click Show in Explorer. Now, it opens as, as the Window Explorer. You can see your project name is here. Click your project name and copy the, the VRM for you, plug in into this folder. This one, I can direct right click and copy. Here, right click and paste. In this way, you can install this VRM importing plugin into your Unreal Engine 4. Next, close your Unreal Engine 4 and open again. Open again the same project. Double click it. Now, let us check the plugin. Click the edit and click the plugin. Here, search for VRM. And you can see VRM for you is already here. Click to enable it and click restart now. Alright, now search again VRM. VRM for you already enabled. At this moment, you already can import your VRM. Click the content and then right click to open a new folder Vroid Hub. Double click in. As demo, I will just drag in my VRM file. Drag in only. Next, you click import. Alright, now you can see you already have a skeleton mesh and a skeleton here. And actually, this is your Vroid avatar. At this moment, close this first. Next, in order to make this become your NPC or become your main character, you need to do one more step. Click the content. Go to the third person, sorry, go to the mana queen. This is your main avatar. First, you delete this first. And make sure you already have a player start. A new player start is already there. So, click the content, double click the mana queen, the character, the mesh. And you can see your, your default avatar, that is Unreal Engine 4 mana queen. Double click the skeletons and click the retarget manager. If you cannot see any of the retarget manager here, you can always click here to start the retarget manager. Select rig, you need to select the humanoid. After that, click save and then close. Next step, back to the content folder and double click the third person blueprint. Double click the blueprint, oh, sorry, not, not here. Click the content and enter the mana queen, double click the animation. You can see a third person animation blueprint here. Right click, retarget, duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. Select this. And then you can see this one is your Vroid hub avatar skeleton. Exactly this girl. Click retarget. Now, 
you can see under your content folder, the retarget result is already here. Next, what are you going to do is rename the third person animation blueprint here. Right click, rename. And at behind, you, you add an underscore Vroid Girl 01. You put exactly the same file name as the avatar that you want. Next, click the content. Double click the third person blueprint. Double click the blueprint and you can see the third person character. The third person character is your default avatar for your game. This is your default avatar. So make sure you delete him first. The third person character, you right click and duplicate. You can see it at a number one at behind, you delete it and press an underscore. Vroid Girl01. You name it properly and double click. Click the viewport, click the mesh. Next. The skeleton mesh, it used the SK mannequin, but now you are going to change it to become, become your Vroid skeleton mesh. Now, change already. Next, the animation class, you need to choose the third person animation blueprint Vroid Girl 01. This is, after you retarget it, you rename it, right? Just now that one, choose it. Now you can see, this Vroy avatar already become your main character. You click compile, save, and now you close. You can see your third person character is already here. Next, if you want to make this Vroy girl 01 become your main avatar, you need to click edit. Project setting. Maps and modes. Selected game mode, default pawn class. You change the default pawn class to become your third person character Vroid Girl 01. Next, close. Now, in this game, if you play, it already used this Vroid Girl as your main avatar. After you finish, retarget it. This avatar is ready for you to use, to utilize her in your Unreal Engine 4 game project. Alright, if you want to make her become an NPC, you can drag her out as well. As NPC. Alright, now I play. Now you can see here, you have an NPC here. The Vroid avatar and here, you have another NPC and you also set yourself as the main avatar by using this Vroid mob, uh, this Vroid Hub girls that you downloaded from Vroid Hub originally. Alright, that's all for today about how to download and import the Vroid Hub avatars where you, you all choose those allow you to use as commercial to earn some profit and redistribution allow and now you successfully imported into your Unreal Engine 4 to bring this avatar into your game and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate the notification, select all to, to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.